GPS for Real Guys Reviews. Today I want to talk to you about changing out a hard drive in a MacBook Pro computer. Um, very simple to do and uh, there's several videos out there that will show you how to do it. Uh, the only problem is some of them give you some information that's not exactly true and could get you in trouble. So what I want to do is just show you the basic way to take the hard drive out and to change it and uh, should have no problem with it. First off you'll notice there's all these little screws on the bottom. You'll have to take each one of these screws out and some of them are short, very very short so I would suggest having some place to put them. Um, see how small that screw is? Uh, very tiny so you need to get you a lid or something that you can put these on that way you won't lose them. Uh, there are a few that are in the back that are longer screws but for the most part you're going to end up with these little teeny tiny screws uh, laying everywhere so you want to get all these taken out uh, first thing I guess you should do is make sure that the power is off on your computer anytime that you crack the case on it uh, you want to make sure that your power is off let's take out these screws in the back in the back are where the longer screws are uh, there's see those are a little bit longer uh, there's only three there's four across the back three of them are long and one of them is short okay once you have the screws out you can reach underneath the little vent port here in the back and pull this forward and you see the aluminum case will just slip right off. Um, you'll notice that what you can see here once you take the cover off is the CD drive, the RAM memory, the battery, and then your hard drive over here. Okay, you'll notice if you want to change out your RAM here, uh, the RAM is located just behind the battery, uh, and there's two little tabs here on each one on each side. Um, if you lift the, these and the RAM memory pops up, you can slip these out. Uh, there's two of them so you can pull them both out and put some upgraded memory in uh, depending on what yours came with uh, change this one out first then put the top one in uh, make sure you line them up and just slip them right in and then you can push the bottom one down push the top one down they'll click into place and they'll be ready to go that's how you can upgrade your RAM okay when you go to take the hard drive out uh, you'll have to remove these two screws there's one located here and one located here and all you have to do is loosen these up until you hear the popping sound uh, letting you know that it's not in the threads anymore as soon as you hear that don't take the screws out but just grab a hold of this bar and lift the bar out and you'll notice that the screws stay uh, will stay in and just set this to the side and you can stand it up that way the screws stay with it now the hard drive if you pull on this tab it just slips right out and you can remove it. Um, here on the end is just a little ribbon cable that plugs right in so you can get your new hard drive and plug the ribbon cable back in and then you'll have to put these screws, there's two on each side um, these are the screws that hold it in place you'll notice here on the case there's a little notch and that's where the screws fit in so in order to put this back in you'll get the front side of the case into the little notch and then drop it down and it'll just drop into the other part and that keeps it from moving side to side forward and backwards so the videos that you see on YouTube where it tells you to take the battery out and the only way to get it out get the hard drive out to take the battery out is not true because you can not actually slide this out there's no way to slide it out unless you take the guide bars off if you take the guide bar off then there's no reason to slide it out because it just lifts out so easily with the tab that you're just wasting your time taking this out and could possibly damage your computer so don't play with the battery uh, leave that to the trained professionals and just keep it in place uh, so once you've got your new hard drive back in you'll need to put the guide bar back so just slip it back on your two screws are still in place so you slip it down and once you get it into place um, all you have to do is tighten your screws up and just get them hand tight with a small screwdriver 
and once you put this back in your hard drive won't move around won't come out forward backwards um, it's just stable and in place so that's what you need to do to get your hard drive replaced uh, very simple doesn't take but about five minutes to do the hardest part is getting the little screws out of the case and making sure that you keep up with these small screws that are on the guide bar uh, other than that it's a very simple process and one that I think anybody can do uh, just be sure that you don't touch any of the other parts with anything metal and that you try to keep uh, as many things away from your computer as you can while you're doing this uh, you don't want to leave the back off uh, for too long with all your stuff exposed in case you knock something over on it and could cause other damage just make sure that when you put your case back on uh, you get it set down real well and then all of those screws need to be tightened back up so that you have a good clean seal on the back of your computer a lot of videos you see on YouTube will tell you to take the battery out in order to get the hard drive out of the case uh, you'll notice that there's a sticker that says do not remove the battery this extends past the edge so that you cannot lift the battery up um, because it has this sticker in place this is so that you do not remove this battery there's no reason to do it you can get the hard drive out fine without taking this battery out the only time I would recommend that you do that is if you're replacing your battery at either an Apple store or with an authorized service provider um, there's no reason to take this out otherwise so stay away from this battery all you need to do is put your case back on and you're good to go um, I've got another video that I'll be putting out here in the next day or so that will tell you about a hard drive cloner and will give you some options when you replace a hard drive in your computer and so uh, be looking for that and I should have that on um, hopefully by the end of the week so appreciate you watching our videos and we'll see you around on Real Guys Reviews